Hello and welcome guys. Hope you are doing well. Welcome back in the video. So by end of the video you guys will be able to implement or draw this kind of volley line from the source to the destination. So stay tuned and let's get started. I am back in Android Studio. As always I have opened home.dart file because in the view that we are working is inside home.dart file okay so now let's begin uh, first of all you guys have to create a function that is under name draw polyline that is basically accepting a place id place id is used just for the polyline id and next thing that you have to do is uh, you have to create a final set of polyline and initialize it with empty set okay guys after doing this make sure to clear your polyline in case if have data so you don't mess with multiple polyline first of all make sure to clear your polyline and then you have to add polyline how you guys can add polyline is simple by using add function you just have to provide polyline object and as you guys can see the place id that i have provided is should be go inside polyline id visible true this means that this line should be visible to the user and you can hide this by making it false and then you have to specify your points like from point a to point b draw a polyline so point a is basically the source and point b is the destination in my case this is the source and this is the destination and also you guys can specify the colors like in my case I have specified green color and also the width size is 5 so that's it in order to draw polyline on your google map so what we have to do next and where we have to call this draw polyline function so basically guys you have to call this draw polyline function from right or there let me click on this and let's search for another location like Gohart University and as you guys can see when the Gohart University has been called the previous marker is also removed and and the previous polyline has been removed because of doing these two things first of all i have cleared the polyline in case if it contain a data and before doing this i have another check if the marker set is contain more than or equal to two elements so first of all you have to remove the last element that makes sense guys uh, the last thing that you have to do uh, you you have to call this function right from the source location like as you guys can see I have uh, this search for address it exists inside this field when I click on this uh, automatically this function has been called we select place and then we call draw polyline okay last thing that you have to do is uh, this polyline object should be connected with your google map so let me show you here is my google map and I have provided this polyline to the polyline argument so now let's review it again I'm going to restart the application and let's wait so yeah guys application has been restarted successfully let's search for KDA bar okay so my destination is now selected as KD and let's search for address cohort university and that's it guys that's it we are done with implementing our polyline thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe if you have not subscribed and thanks.